attack, baby! Second attack, baby! What would you do to take this team to a national championship? They need some milk. We need more water. There's a lot of drunks around here. Lots of NIL money would do yeah. us good. Wreck them, baby. Notable players like Patrick Mahomes, Michael Crabtree, and Wes Welker all came right through here in Lubbock, Texas. Just like the Mast Rider, it's time we ride and see what the Red Raiders are all about. 7-6 last year, we beat Cal in the Independence Bowl. How do we just take it up another notch? The goal is the same as any rebuild. Take the Red Raiders to the national championship game. But the only catch, the Red Raider community is going to dictate how we get the rebuild done today. So I'm here with... Kirsten. Ethan. Ethan. And we're talking about Texas Tech football on the opening day. First question for y'all, how are you feeling about the season to come? I'm excited. It's my last year here, so I'm hoping to make the most of it. I'm very hopeful. I think we're going to do great. It's going to be good. I feel really good. I mean, our offense is looking pretty hot. Our defense is looking solid. Our D-line is real nice and sturdy. I'm feeling excited, man. I think we're going to do pretty well. I think it's going to be a better season than last season. What do you think our record's going to be? 11-2. and 10-2. and 8-4. and 8-4? and four? How many wins we get? Hopefully all of them. 12-0. <laughs> 12-0. Awesome. Strengths of the team. What do you think we're, we're we best at? I think our culture and our team spirit is really kind of where it's at. Quarterback and Taj Brooks. Okay. There's a bowling ball. You can't stop him. Our fans are really fun because Texas Tech football has always let me down, but the fans are always so fun. I think we usually have a pretty good defense. Our quarterback, Baron Morton. Hey, Baron Morton. On the flip side, where do we need to recruit better? We need more water. There's a lot of drunks around here. They get hurt a lot. Quarterbacks get hurt. Here they, they need some milk. Like, lastly, if you were a coach, how do you get them to a national championship? Just work on each player, make each player better. They bring the energy out. They think they got it. Feed Micah, baby. Let's go. Just uh, hype them up because we have the potential. We just got to get there. Just hype them up, make them believe in themselves. You have to have a good chance. Traditions matter. That's perfect. Gotta have that great playlist. Okay, what, what song would be your on your playlist? Panama, number one. Lean into that culture and make sure that the guys really understand that they're not really playing for themselves, but they're playing for, for something bigger, right? They're playing for the school, the, the state. I've had a drink or two with Joey, okay? And I think he needs to stop drinking tequila, and I think that would do it. That's all that man will drink. Man, just go get you a good chicken fried steak and eggs. Lots of NIL money would do yeah. us good. I just witnessed Texas Tech barely survive in overtime against Abilene Christian, an FCS program here in Texas. Of course, the fans were high on their program, but the more and more I watched the game, it became clear to me that this team needs a rebuild, which is why our first challenge of the video is to take on Abilene and beat them by at least 32 points since they were a 32 point favorite. Our second challenge is to throw for five touchdowns with Morton and rush for at least 150 yards with Taj Brooks. Clearly two fan favorites, our job is to replicate the performance if not do even better so get them guns up it's time to wreck them tech i'm not gonna lie it's really cool to come back and play this game after we just witnessed it happen in real life so let's get it started with brooks you heard the fans brooks is like a bowling ball in this offense and every down back we can just trust to pound the stone i forgot to mention that if i don't complete these two challenges or complete a certain amount of the list of challenges at least one of you will get a copy of the game so go ahead and hit that subscribe button enjoy this texas tech rebuild many more in the wings it has been a steady dose of brooks all the way down here now we got eakin on the first morton looking for five touchdown passes in this one abilene defender takes him down so let's get real here about that game this last saturday i was impressed from what i saw out of abilene it got me a little concerned about texas tech's defense offense looked pretty good i mean put up 52 points rightfully so so, but if you couldn't tell based on that game they just played, the secondary has to be a primary focus. And of course, defensive line needs to generate more pressure. Some of the fans I interviewed were realistic about this secondary and knew it was a pain point. Abilene strikes here, touchdown. I know it's FCS West, but we're role playing like it's Abilene and they're doing what they did in the game. I mean, how do you let Abilene's quarterback throw for over 500 yards and absolutely cook you guys? No fear. That's exactly why I'm here. We're going to get you guys right tech as brooks up the middle quick juke to the left good run another receiver i was impressed with on this tech offense is right here it's kelly touchdown he had quite a day make it number two for morton third and five cannot seem to get the stop and yep what do you know this passed the sniff test 17 14 they are on a mission and it's surprising to see them play so close two minute drill still gonna get a steady dose of brooks action here just up the middle 
power run. Feeding it right back to him. Little spin move, and he's out of there. If we're reflecting on big week one performances, I also got to give it up to my Boise State Bronco, Gentney. Us Boise State fans knew what we had, but for the rest of the nation, it was an introduction to Mr. Heisman. Sure, he's definitely a dark horse candidate, and guys like Travis Hunter will go ahead and give a run for the money, but look at that throw on the run by Morton. Don't count him out just yet. Normally, I'd happily run it up the middle here on the one yard line, but I got to get touchdowns for this challenge, so Let's scramble, let's search it, throw it, and oh my goodness, that was a miracle. Across the body, across the field, come down for a touchdown. Abilene moving right down the field and fast, third and nine, covering our zones. He's just gonna take it underneath and pick up a first and goal. They'll go ahead and settle for three and miss it. Finally coming alive in the second half, we have an encouraging lead and what a deflection. Remember, we're trying to win by 32. That's right, 32 to match the betting favorite. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to accommodate that challenge at this rate. Breaking a tackler though, Brooks is out of there through the secondary. What a touchdown. Yeah, buddy, this running back is legit. Quick check on how we're doing. Four touchdown passes from Morton. Annihilated the rushing challenge. 260 yards and three touchdowns from Brooks. Last chance here with a minute to go to get one more touchdown. Surveying, oh no ugly interception and he fumbles it thankfully on the hit stick so our chance is still alive looks like more than likely we're gonna just fall short of that 32 point win but hey touchdown here gets it closer to the favorite 29 points right now that is what we are up by if we can go ahead and strike to this streaking receiver in Eakin I think we've completed all the challenges against Abilene Christian. The offense looks legit. Defense got better in the second half. That is a more encouraging start than what we saw. Got it done, 62 to 26. Wreck um tech. Let's go ahead and see how the rest of year one pans out. Jump into the other challenges in this video and ultimately bring them a natty. We completed the challenge beating Abilene by at least 32 points and then had big days from Morton and Brooks. The remaining challenges are as follows. As one fan said, the coach needs to stop drinking tequila so I cannot consume an alcoholic beverage during the entire video. School spirit, culture, and traditions also seemed very important, so I must say wreck them every touchdown call, no matter the situation. All in all, on the recruiting front, we need more defense than offense, with the primary focus here on defensive linemen like Enrique Pinto out of Richmond, Texas. Great strength, power moves. He would be a wrecker on the front. And then I strongly feel like the secondary will flip when we get guys like Gideon, 98-speed, five-star gem out of Georgia. He would be one to wreck them tech. Once again, pulling up the schedule, we're taking on Washington State this week, but when you look at the rest of the schedule in Big 12 Conference. We need to win at least eight games. Me and my homies, I need to get a Texas Tech quarterback, first team, all Big 12, whether it's Morton or the quarterback that follows. We will need to convert at least two of these players into first round picks throughout the rebuild. And then you heard one passionate fan, Feed Micah Baby. So one challenge we'll have is we'll have to jump into one of these games and feed him every single play for the entirety of the offense. And of course, no rebuild is complete without the national championship. I know a lot of challenges, a lot of fun stuff going on this video, all determined by the community here at Texas Tech. Shout out to everyone that participated and is gonna shape this rebuild into what it is. Like I mentioned earlier, you can still win if I don't complete all of these challenges. If I mess up two of them, one subscriber is gonna get a copy of the game. On the recruiting front, not off to a hot start, keeping in line with a defense-focused challenge. Sean Lamar is our first one four star to Wimberley, Texas. It will be a nice addition, but remember we got to swing defense, which is exactly what we're trying to do, but we're losing the battle on so many others. Point blank, the problem is that we're such a new coach that we don't have enough points to just absolutely stack some of the best players out here. So we're getting locked out from so many. And halfway through the season, six games in, a little bit of letdown here, I would say, getting smoked by North Texas. Dropping one to Cincinnati, and then U of A just gave us the beat down. They're they're six and oh, second in the nation. Every team left on the schedule is a winner, minus Ollie Gordon in Oklahoma State. Kicked it into gear with a four game win streak. Texas Tech, seven and three in year number one. And we're going to go for that win, number eight, to satisfy the goal up against Oklahoma State. You know what we're also going to do in this rivalry game? Feed Micah, baby. That's right. Every single play needs to go Micah's way. First snap, what do you know? Dump out to Micah Hudson, four yards. Rinse and repeat all the way through against a tough Oklahoma State. State team having a letdown season four and six. 
not the best micah's in the slot which to me is a favorable position to keep feeding him the rock three for three for all you that don't know micah hudson was a five-star recruit coming out of high school was in the top 25 best players in the nation so he's certified people compare him to the likes of garrett wilson and we're gonna take a sack hudson's not out here on this one so we get a free play douglas first down selecting micah hudson here in the coaches panel let's see what plays they specifically design up for him across the middle he's open we got it off in time making a move what a juke for six okay off to a great start you just gotta feed him baby that's all you gotta do 80 overall elite dev this true freshman will be a nightmare in the years to come big third down here for oklahoma state he's gonna throw that thing away our ball gonna run the play action and see if he can get a step on his db that's what happens when we have to throw to micah i was afraid interceptions would come and there's one four six back down the field after that mishap we got an open hudson first down should have been shoot i thought they would give that to us for sure so we'll go call a slant he's got it sending hudson on a corner route let's see if he can get through the defense wreck him tech i realized i already messed up by not saying that on his first touchdown but we'll be sure to wreck him tech on the second one there are a lot of rules and regulations we need to abide by but let's make sure we get the easy ones like wreck him tech hudson first and goal this freshie is on fire give him the third touchdown let's go tech guns up wreck him up i just realized how annoying that might get for everyone watching if i keep doing that every single play might have to take an l on that challenge for your guys sake i think everyone understands the objective of the challenge you need tradition you need team you need culture all of it to come together really surprised that last play did not pan out he dropped it there at the end it's fourth and ten he's not on the field so we get to throw it and not convert two minute drill we let oklahoma state score can't have that so let's go back at it with a wonderful strike really not sure why number six gave up there on the defense feel like he could have stopped and make a play but he did not We'll work the sideline at this rate over 200 receiving yards in the first half and three touchdowns he could be in for a career like day heck forget career like day man's gonna be setting all kinds of records at this rate touchdown hudson man is so good true freshy wrecking him up when opportunity comes knocking you gotta cash in there he is touchdown number five right before half let's go tech wreck it wreck them let's go fourth and forever to go for bowman and the cow pokes they're gonna take a shot and get denied by mccarty it didn't work the last time so they'll spread them out even further fourth and one i guess it works here up by a touchdown instead of running out the clock we're gonna pass all the way till the very end that could have been dangerous third and ten we should have been running the ball with micah hudson because remember he can touch it every single time oklahoma state with a crazy comeback right now only 30 seconds left in this game they got the touchdown it's all tied up oh my goodness i don't see our boy out here so i got a bunch of receivers i can choose from I'm gonna take a shot to douglas he held on no where is our guy did he get hurt we kind of need him in this final drive and we're gonna have to rely on the rest of the team that's super unfortunate as now we'll need to rely on seniors like kelly to come out and play man just picked up and left i checked the injury report nothing there we have a bunch of other guys now they're gonna need to win us a game finally hudson checks back in he's second in the depth chart so there was no reason for him to be out of it and once again the show goes on feeding him the rock every single play can't get the audible to work but this play is gonna strike touchdown hudson's in there for number six wreck him tech back to the well we go he's got a step and some looking to make it a house call touchdown number seven in double overtime come on now oh my goodness my guy's so good back for a two-point try you know who he couldn't hold on oh no at least hudson was able to score a touchdown playing some defense to prevent oklahoma state from winning this game doesn't seem to be going so well at first first play was a big one. Second was a touchdown need to do whatever it takes to stop this two-point conversion up the middle that's ball game absolute bummer here 50 48 oklahoma state wins it micah hudson accounted for all of our points seven touchdowns 339 yards for the freshie if it wasn't clear to you that micah hudson was going to win player of the week when we got in there well look what happened easy national player of the week honors as well honestly impressed here at the end of year one we get the win over west virginia bringing us up to eight and four look what that means big 12 championship game year one against utah this is like best case scenario for the red raiders win this one it's an automatic bid to the playoffs let's go ahead and see if the red raiders are about it against sixth ranked utah this is not going to be easy we have good offense the defense 
playing a little better here at the end, but giving up 51 to Oklahoma State shows you that there's still a lot of work to be done. I'm surprised at how close this one is. Back and forth we go. Tech with the lead down into the final quarter. Oh my goodness, touchdown up by eight. It's tied up. This could go OT. Back and forth, back and forth, triple OT. I think we lost. Wow, okay, this is not the year. Having a college football playoff run in year number one would have been like a first in my Dynasty Rebuild series. Despite the losing effort, Manny Haddad from Rigby, Idaho is in. We need him in the defensive line. And truthfully, it's just been really tough to land prospects. Maybe it's Sir Sponge in his abilities, a little bit inexperienced in the recruiting front. But anyways, Gasparilla Bull, against Pitt. This is the fate for the Raiders after one. You heard that one lady that we interviewed saying, get that NIL bag, baby, because look at Texas Tech, man. One of the worst recruiting classes right there with Houston. Three four-star commits. Awesome, but we're going to have to go hard in the transfer portal. At least we were able to secure this Gasparilla Bowl. Truly unbelievable. Utah went on this run after securing the Big 12 championship, beat LSU, Ohio State, and then dropped one to Texas in the final game. That really could have been us. It was just three points. So that was the difference. A lot of offense for Tech here on the first team, all Big 12 panel, but no quarterback. So Mahomes' challenge has to wait. Super encouraging news here with Micah Hudson getting first team all American honors in his true freshman season. What a year. So good. In fact, he hauled in 92 balls for 1,400 yards and 20 big ones. That's right. 20 big ones. What a year. Kind of surprised our guy Morton didn't even get second team honors. The 11 interceptions surely hurt his cause. Three NFL bound Raiders. Of course, Brooks is one of them second round. So we didn't have a first round pick in this year's edition. Second round is still very respectable for running backs, especially in this new era of NFL football. Let's go ahead and get that NIL bag given up offers to a lot of transfer players like Gentry Williams, four star, 15th best guy in the portal, former DB out of Oklahoma. We need to strengthen that area. Area. Joseph Manjack, the fourth out of Houston, another corner from Michigan State, big time left tackle in PJ Williams. How about Kelly Johnson, the tight end from Baylor? Tareen York, number 24 in the portal, sophomore middle linebacker here from Texas AM. Yes, please. Couple four stars signing the dotted line like Gentry Williams. I love to have him on the team. But man, in other cases, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like Tareen York here just left us in the dust. Same with Kelsey Johnson and Joseph Manjack, the fourth. I would have loved to have a Manjack on this Raider team. Huge lead forward at national signing day man from early signing day till now this was a big upgrade 37th best class seven four stars seven three stars Let's get year two started with training results. 88 overall, 87 offense, 89 defense. A good looking team. Morton's only up to an 84 in his final season, but we got Deshaun Hasty in the wing here. Only normal dev, so I'm probably not going to be able to use him in the long run. 91 speed, 94 throw power, gold magicians. Got all the things I like. Young running backs stealing the show. Sean Lemur here is a star. You know what's better than a star? Dion's got it. Elite dev, two true freshmen running back, ready to go sicko truthfully what i'm most excited about after that 20 touchdown season is another year of micah hudson football 90 overall as a sophomore i gotta be careful because he might want to go big time in just a year or so defense getting better as well gentry williams leading the secondary 97 speed 95 excel the star out of oklahoma ready to lock it down the big 12 is unforgiving a lot of ranked opponents but we're kicking off the season with a matchup against in-state texas longhorns be red raiders our roster versus arch manning the longhorns Let's see what it's all about. It's a big time rivalry game. Last time they met, Texas downed them 57 to 7. This game is so big. In fact, we decided to play it in Las Vegas, Allegiant Stadium. Let's get it on. Hold on. Am I seeing that correct? Quinn Ewers is still here. I thought surely he would go to the NFL after the last season. Texas won the national championship over Utah. So I guess Quinn Ewers wants a victory lap, is my only thought. Because after accomplishing the natty, you would go NFL bound. But no, I love to see it. Loyalty to the school, loyalty to college football. Unfortunately for him, though, I think his return campaign to the national championship is going to end this year. Quickly town, 10-0, read option. Morton's going to keep it. He's got enough of a leg to get the first. It's going to step into this one wide open Eakin he had a great year last year and that time from the offensive line was big red zone first and 10 
destroyed. Now second and 17. Let's go ahead and take the corner here. He's got it in first and goal. In the face of pressure, getting it off. Textbook work here, just like a textbook touchdown to our number one de facto receiver in Hudson. Trust me, I didn't forget. Wreck him tech on the last touchdown. And now we got to wreck him on defense. Quinn Ewers has got his Longhorns down here in the red zone. Handoff. It's a good one. Look at Curry, man, playing linebacker, holding it down. Great deflection. If we hold them here, they'll probably take their three-point attempt. We'll do a whole lot better than just hold them. Interception. Wrecked them on offense. Wrecked them on defense. Love to see it in a big game like this. Let's hand it off to Dickey here with a burst. And shoot, why not back to Dickey on a slip screen? He's going to pick it up. With no Taj Brooks, we're going to need some contribution. Our boy Taj enjoying himself in the NFL where now we're forced to go to guys like Hudson and Dickens to lead the load. And you're kidding me. I just saw Hudson go down on the last play. Back spasms for the sophomore. Let's just substitute him out so he doesn't re-injure. Longhorn's defense pressing up, so I audible to all go because this is exactly what I expected to happen. Got some points before half. Now we're going to get the ball back with chance to pad it on. Thankfully, Hudson's back in there so we can go to the well if only we had time. We'll let Hudson go to work one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the safety interfered there, so that ball is out of reach. Instead, we'll go ahead and take another chance. Drive corner seems like a good call. We'll just take the underneath drag to Douglas, cutting it up first and 10. Morton truthfully not having the best game here against the Longhorns as that was sort of expected. They have a really good defense and are coming off a national championship. Talk about inspiration for a defense tour, but let's get it out the window. Inspired for an upset, we'll take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Dickey tops it off. We're on top. Wreck um tech. Let's go ahead and keep the guns up, letting it unload. Pistol shot after pistol shot deep no coach sponge says go for it fourth down we're gonna look for this y sale to develop the tight end springs free it's miller can't drink an alcoholic beverage but it's miller time and that is a turn we needed to see on the conversion because now we can dump it to dickie past midfield best part is we're oh shoot it was all looking promising until the interception costly one longhorn survive our team is getting better slowly but surely tech's in a position here where we got a mix of upperclassmen and underclassmen so the upperclassmen unfortunate to see this result it's an interesting hybrid of win now players in building pieces long story short we hate to see this defeat tight end glenn stephenson here an early four-star signee indicative of a good class including jelani burgess josh alcantara heck this is looking much better than last year's edition the focus is simple it's get the best available and preferably defense starting to hard sell a lot of these guys and schedule visits that's the name of the game at this stage of recruiting richard easy gets the aspirational sell as he's aspiring to be an easy lock on this team the very next week we can add isaiah Hendricks' five-star recruit to the list and that is a big haul for the secondary second best player in the nation a legion platinum badge with jammer house call on the physical side 96 speed 90 change of direction 90s across the board and then tack on 80 man coverage got number two in the nation well maurice shembo number one in the nation would be a crown jewel 88 finesse move 90 strength absolute disruptor if that doesn't work out well number four in the nation maurice here looks even better he's a gem with 96 strength we got maurice number one in the nation this recruit is now a red raider well i think he should be number one technically the other maurice is number one in the nation but this maurice angle is the last name he is a five-star gem number four in the nation but that gem makes him in my opinion the best can i just take a second and say maurice and maurice on the defensive line what a tandem that'd be didn't have to wait much longer to welcome the other maurice to town who's ready for a little maurice on maurice action baby i think koi eakin's ready to welcome his new friends in as what's crazy to me is 89 overall across the board has been good enough to win six straight after losing to texas each game has been pretty close minus the houston one so nothing's guaranteed going into the second half of the year back-to-back -back seasons with a big 12 championship run at texas techs here against west virginia three more gem commits before the big game trevor gentry a four-star gem cornerback we have officially signed more defense than offense i told you man after the abilene christian game we were gonna jump in and get the red raiders right west virginia sixth ranked they did beat us in the regular season 20 to 17 we also lost to utah by one point so that makes this championship game all the more important down seven zero i'll be interested to see if the red raiders can actually mount 
what it takes to win the big game here and get to the national championship playoff bracket with our quarterback in his final season. He's done a good job, I think, spelling in this last season and now leading his team to victory. 38, 41, 10. What a beatdown. West Virginia fans are in disbelief. This one was not even close. Check out Morton and Texas Tech. We're going into the Natty Championship run in just year number two of the rebuild, led by Baron Morton. Maybe our boy went to Patrick Mahomes quarterback school after all. Big 12 champs, you already know we're going to see if this team has the makeup to go the distance. Quan Bullet bit the bullet and said, I am a Red Raider. Guns up. Let me shoot that pistol and start wrecking them. Why wouldn't you commit to the Big 12 champs? This is going to be fun. We have a first round bye. We'll play the winner of UTSA Oregon. Fingers crossed for UTSA because Oregon's always there. So no offense to Oregon fans. I've just seen y'all so many times. The team that got us to the land, Morton had a solid year. Our rushing attack. Eh. Even Micah Hudson's took a little bit of a step back, but check out Coy Eakin. 15 touchdowns, 912 yards. One quick call out here for Hudson. I like the physical ability press pro. It goes really well with Cutter. And if you haven't seen my QNet Potato Kings team builder dynasty, we had a receiver win Heisman and put up one of the most absurd stat lines I've ever seen with really good press pro ability. Current group of guys ready to go, just like the next group of guys ready to go. 14th best class in the nation. Looks like we're not gonna see UTSA after all. Ducks cleared and it's a Red Raider Duck showdown. This team looks promising. I mean, Sponge just got in there, moved some pieces around, got some key transfers, gave out NIL bags, did what the fans asked me to do, and now we're here. It's paid off. Ducks are a team that will never go down quietly. Was not expecting to be in the big dance this early in the rebuild but since we're here let's get it done we are ahead of the curve and just like this strike to hudson ahead of all oregon defenders house call number one says i am number one and you're gonna be seeing a lot of me on the field today with dylan gabriel graduating the last season i'm interested to see if the backup ducks quarterback has what it takes as i believe that's dante moore a ucla transfer getting his shot as a starter. They should still be a good team. I mean, this college football sim believes they're one of the best, even with the departure of some key guys. Puddles and co strike back, but we're gonna go right down this field and get ourselves in red zone position. Morton's feeling himself, and he's got a good step here from his star receiver, Douglas touchdown cotton bowl we come to play but you know what it looks like the ducks came to play just as much huge sack dylan spencer with the stop second quarter we have a lot of advantage here with our tech receivers wreck them tech guns a blazing on a surprisingly that's been one of the hardest challenges remembering to say wreck them tech every touchdown that's been a pain point of mine so don't worry i'll go ahead and make up for it right here say wreck them tech wreck them tech Reckham Tech three times for all three touchdowns. Stepping up, Morton can scramble. Watch out, a lot of grass in front of him, trying to go down. Texas Tech clearly legit, getting a lot of big wins over good opponents in the Big 12. We can seal a good season with a win here. I believe the Prestige already started this off at three and a half stars, but we can take it up a notch with a big win. Forget just a win here. Let's go the distance. I want to rebuild Texas Tech in just two years, showing it is possible with guys like Morton and Douglas. Boo, yeah. Wreck em Tech. Most important thing to watch out for is a fast paced Oregon Duck offense. They score fast, just like this strike to Eakin. What a fast field flipper. Eakin was our best guy in the regular season, and the verdict's still out to who's going to become the best contributor in the postseason. What I know right now is Morton has 320 passing yards and four touchdowns in the first half. Say his name, Eakin is there. Fourth and two, we're calling a cover four when it was definitely a run. It looked like it paid off. Okay, we stop him. You can hear the fans chanting, wreck em tech. They are ready for this win crossers underneath miller so open touchdown let's seal it up oregon gonna fall in the cotton bowl that will do it 45 31 we're moving on big 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 win for morton he's got dreams of playing on sunday and that'll go a long way before we can concern ourselves with nfl sunday draft stock the entire team is dialed in on this playoff run this is going to be our biggest test yet number one seed ohio state just steamrolled west virginia needing to battle it out for the fiesta bowl down south we have the peach bowl georgia defending their home state against kansas state my wildcats baby let's go would love a big 12 showdown in the national 
championship. One down, two to go. Fiesta Bowl. Buckeyes, let's wreck their plans. So far, it's been a back and forth matchup. 14-10 here in the second quarter. Gonna convert. No. Call Sponge Risky. Call him what you may. His boys are going for it on fourth and eight. What a strike and touchdown. He held on. Oh my goodness. Is that Eakin? Ekin? Eggins. What about Ekins like from Pokemon? Regardless, that was clean out of Koi Ekin here. Touchdown pass Morton to Koi to touchdown lead. If you weren't aware of the Buckeyes, well, let me tell you, they have firepower and a Heisman quarterback. Want to see Press Pro and Cutter cut and go to work for Hudson for some big plays. All about the young gun when we can find him. But that's the hard part sometimes when they're bringing in immense pressure on the front lines. Buckeyes retaliate, score some more. You're not getting out of this one without a dog fight, no doubt about it. First down, we reset the chains, throw a dot to Miller. He's gonna jam his way to midfield. 45 seconds and ticking down on the clock. Let's go hit Valdez out of the backfield. He's gotta step past the linebackers. 25 yard line little wide trail here dump off to boyd he's gonna pick up another first and there we go i like to see this out of you morton wreck em tech fast paced offense that's the nature of the beast still got our timeouts but opting to run a play let's just hit the drag it's douglas first and goal architecting a really good drive that's six to get the lead back and deja vu another drive just like the last second half touchdown we got ohio state on their back foot here in the fourth quarter devin brown the heisman winning quarterback number 33 just looking for someone he had all day threw this one in to rodriguez mitts he's gonna go ahead and run it back for a nice interception looks like the hopes and dreams of ohio state right here squashed on that last play it ain't over until it's over which is exactly why i need morton to call game Ekin first down. One more strike would be fatal for the Buckeyes. Getting a running back in motion. Going to take the underneath to Douglas, who's going to cut it up field. Touchdown, Wreckham Tech. Ba boom, ba bang, ba bing, ba bomb, boom, touchdown. Ohio State out here really scrapping down until the final second. They can't accept their fate that they are done for. Down to the ground, they went and they fall. Knocking off the one seed, it's the champs out of the Big 12, Morton and Raiders. What a game. Six catches for 229 big ones and four touchdowns. I love to see this Big 12 representation in the national championship game. Even better, it's my K State Wildcats. But I'm gonna have to be on the other side today. Eat them up, eat them up, KSU. No, wreck them up, wreck them up. Guns up, Tech. I'll go ahead and wear the alternate red unis with the black helmet, black pants. And well, yeah, K State always wears their classic threads. Well, folks, I didn't think too far ahead of this. I didn't realize we're gonna be in a national championship game in just year two of the rebuild. When I was out there in the community, I heard a lot and a lot about Morton. So it's good to see the quarterbacks led his team to the biggest game i'm sure that will make fans happy most schools you gotta wait a handful of years to get into a position texas tech it seems like you're on the cusp the biggest takeaway that i have is texas tech is well equipped here on offense they're just gonna need some comparable defense despite a very narrow win over abilene christian never count out texas tech in the big 12 the offense alone will keep them in many games it's just how long and how far will they go with a subpar defense Miller, get this guy on your watch list, Tech fans. Find this man and protect him. He looks good. John Carlos Miller II out of Dudley High School, Greensboro, North Carolina. The tight end for Tech is going to have a good season to watch out for. Kansas State answers right back, and we're going to go back to the well. This time, the other tight end, Tillman, runs over a K-Stater. As a Wildcat alum, I know our defense is always our forte. And don't get me wrong, K-State has a good offense. Just going to have to outmuscle them here at the line. Morton right up the gut. Touchdown. Come on now. Defense has a tall task taking on Avery Johnson today. I see a receiver with a step, but he's going to get dragged down before he can find him. There he is, Isaac Smith. Scrambling out to our right, but the middle opens up. It's Mr. Miller time. Right here at the two-minute warning. Great defensive swat on the last one but they're not going to be able to stop this wide trail with miller out there running routes took a chance on fourth down it's the natty we got to take our risks paid off in spades just like this touchdown guess who no need for another introduction number nine wreck em tech gonna need to keep putting on offense like a madman our defense is blowing it in major ways right now Ooh, one cut away haven't really called hudson's name a whole lot out here and it's gonna stay that way we're gonna go across the middle 
I've called this man's name before. Now we can go ahead and call our boy Hudson. Surprised to see K-State's defense just bending over pretty easily. Holding is going to bring this one back. Second and nine. Wow, that pressure came in hot, but Valdez brings it in. Coach Sponge going for another fourth down. Going to look for the quick out to Eakin here, and that's exactly what I drew up. It worked to perfection. Oh, yeah. He's open. Second and ten. It's Douglas fighting for the first and goal. This Texas Tech offense is really inspiring right now. Coming down the field with 30 seconds in scoring. I don't really have the same sentiment for our defense as they're cooking us just a little more than I like. First and goal, Cats want six. Up the middle to get in. He's into the two. Really good ground and pound right now from the bunch. What a fake from A Avery and strike for six. Final three minutes down by four. No time to let up. Douglas got a big one. Two and a half minutes. Let's go out to our Hudson fella. Eight yards. Second and two. Yep, we got him in the backfield sneaking around. It's Eakin. Sure have a lot of fun with Eakin. Oh man, oh man, oh man. No way. He caught that in double coverage. I was actually scared scrambling around back there. For all national championship glory, fourth and six. It's on the line. Avery Johnson snaps it. He's serving. He's going to go deep. He no, he'll step up, and he's not going to make it. It's turnover. What a costly decision. He didn't like any of his reads, so he took off. But you know what that's going to do? That's going to end the game. On the biggest stage, Texas Tech is going to walk away with the natty bro i don't even know what to do with the rest of this video i think i'll go ahead and check out you know like a standard rebuild if we can do it again one more first down handoff gonna be stopped just short i think if we just time this game clock right regardless of what happens on this play the game should be over yep not enough time final seconds of the fourth quarter winding down one last celebratory shank to seal the national championship the kicker kicks it out of bounds and he's all hyped up about that. He may lose his job next season, but who cares right now? Shank it all you want because wreck em friggin' tech. Let's go, baby. National championship with Morton in year two. K-State fought hard, got far. I'm sure they'll be back. Young dudes litter that team as well. Texas Tech has a bright future with some of their young guys. So if we have anything to say about it, Sir Sponge is looking to take his team right on back. Absolute stellar performance in your last game in collegiate football. Check off what I thought would be the hardest challenge to complete a national championship. Usually I end a rebuild right here, but since we did it so early, I'm going to see what we're all about for the next year or two. I'm going to look at persuading Ben Roberts to say it. I know he wants the NFL draft, but him coming back will mean a first round pick surely next year and more money. You know what they say, if you can't beat him, join him. Four-star Colby McAllister out of Kansas State wants to become a Red Raider. Out of Denton, Texas, looks like he wants to be closer to home. 95 speed, good attributes across the board. I think Ryan Yates is a no-brainer. Colby McAllister also wants to get closer to home. Houston, Texas, a little bit slower, but a lot tighter in his coverage. Targeted three, got three. The defending champs are just getting better out here. Quarterback is a bit of a question mark. Will Hammond, you would think, would be next to the throne, but I'm going to go with our guy, Deshaun Hasty, even at normal dev. The receiver room is scary, and it's going to be that way for the next couple of years. Good to see one of our first signees, Manny Haddad from Idaho, getting a starting role. And then Mano man check out the maurice bros 81 overall true freshman out of hawaii and 78 overall freshman out of alabama defense was the name of the game in our last recruiting cycle three top tier corners joined the team a couple big transfers like McAllister and other five stars like Quan bullet maurice number one elite dev maurice number two elite dev the community asked for it and i deliver two physical maurices on the line Quan bullet star dev isaiah hendrick star dev Trevor Gentry impact. Josh Alcantara is a star. Yeah, safe to say I'm excited about Red Raider football. The only clear problem is not a true defined number one quarterback. Looking at a depth chart, I'm going to give Deshaun the starting nod. It's crazy what winning a national championship does for your school. All the top talent got you on the radar. Interesting to see no one has us as their number one preference. That's fine, I guess. Sir Sponge has a knack for winning over players. Four and one through five games, it looks like Hasty, the quarterback, has stepped up. Fell short to Ryan Staub in prime time, but games like the one against Texas State show you why Deshaun Hasty's ready for the big stage. When you're hitting your receivers like Micah Hudson for 174 big ones and four touchdowns, you're in good company. We'll jump in 
and see what he's about alongside the year three red Raiders when they take on the Bearcats. It's an away game. We're in Cincinnati. The experts are high on Cincinnati. Give him that 23rd ranking and wow that touchdown was impressive i don't want to come out talking about overrated when they're doing me like that offense has taken a step up with four stars across the board outside of the quarterback position that's twice as many as last year hasty has the skill set to plug and play speed power agility He's got, oh, that guy was wide open. I just lost the icon because of the home advantage. I saw triangle get so wide open. I just didn't know it was triangle in time, but who cares? Hudson across the middle, big 30 yard score. Hasty may only have normal dev, but I'm telling you, I like this kid and I like him even more when he's finding our top targets. Textbook football out here, folks. We're gonna go across the middle on fourth down and dump it in. He couldn't hang on. Can't be sleeping on the Bearcats. They've tied it up and they're going to go across to their receiver only to get lurked by Jordan here. Great read and return. Two minute drill. Let's get hasty with it. We'll start with a little screen to our running back Davis. Usually a good tone setter first down. Under a minute to play. Let's call a flood. That's going to spring him open, but we got hit. Come on, big boys. Hold it for me out there. Wide open. It's Eakin. Love that dude. Best part is most of the team is staying right here intact for next season as well. So if we can perform above expectations, should be able to blossom into an even better system just next season beautiful textbook west how do you do keeping it pretty close in this one just gonna take a shot to our running back davis secures it we're going play action and across the middle is gonna get free touchdown tight end i've definitely got a good feel for hasty and man i like what i see as i've mentioned before he can do this as well all in all i'm a satisfied customer Touchdown, Reckham Tech. I think I got like four more Reckham Techs to make up. Reckham Tech, 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 Reckham Tech, Tech. It's time to turn the lights off. Carry me home. Na, 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 na. And that will do it, folks. Fourth down is game. Nothing Cincinnati could do to overcome that deficit. After losing to Baylor, we finished off the season just winning. All we do is win, baby. And you know what? That brings our third straight Big 12 championship game. Even better, it's a national championship rematch against the Wildcats. Jumping into the sim quick two touchdown lead over Kansas State, 21-0 here. About halftime, K-State does find their footing for a score. This is gonna go the Red Raiders way. Reckham Tech, guns up, man. These guys are dominant. Sir Sponge has not had to do much to get them primed and ready to win. Unbelievable. Sir Sponge has just like found this job. It fell in his lap. The community helped him rebuild it. Just took some tweaks. It's a done deal. Deshaun Hasty not acting like a freshman in one bit. Two straight Big 12 titles, three straight appearances. Red Raiders are legit. Trust me, I loved Morton and what he was able to do for the program, but if anyone hit the school of Mahomes, it's Deshaun Hasty and his true true freshman season throwing 45 touchdown passes nine interceptions 3800 yards and then he added 400 yards on the ground with the score evenly distributed the love Coy Ekin once again leading the team forward receiving Micah Hudson a dog 13 of his own and then look at TJ West snag 11 defense led by our recruit Manny Haddad and transfer DB Colby McAllister led the crew got sweet sweet revenge on the Kansas State Wildcats here in the big 12 game Eli Holstein wins the Heisman our guy could not have been far honestly surprised we didn't even make the list. Deshaun Hasty comes in as seventh best player in the nation. Clearly a very successful team when guys like Coy coming up again on the first team All-American list. Deshaun Hasty, no doubt about it, freshman All-American. This boy got the one-on-one -on -one training with Mahomes treatment. The bracket shaped out like this. We'll go ahead and take on Penn State. Winner of that game plays winner of Pitt versus Michigan. Already a super successful team. I mean, they just want to keep adding on to the great season they're having. So the Sim has us up 21-13 over Penn State. Never overlook the Nittany Lions. They're tough. They're rough. They are coming right back in this one. 
22-24, all the way down the field. What a touchdown drive. That's going to seal it. Cotton Bowl, we keep on marching the defense tour. Hasty is really that guy. Player of the game against a Penn State defense. Pittsburgh got past Michigan, and impressively, they are undefeated on the season, ranked number one in the nation. Unfortunately for them, they've never met a team quite like Texas Tech out the Big 12. They may be flawless in the ACC, but honestly, man, Big 12 is the better conference. I mean, just look at guys like Florida State, fraudulent activity lately. Texas Tech is hot, hot like a smoking pistol. Since this one has national championship implications, I'm going to ride with the boys here and see what we can do against an undefeated squad. Whether I'm playing or simulating, Texas Tech has just felt really good every step of the way. Can't ask for too much more when you're rebuilding a team to win a national championship and compete for another one. Micah Hudson could not hang in there, but we'll dump it to Davis and he'll go ahead and pick up that first down. Just a quick handoff to Davis. He's out of there. Holes just opening up. Hastily getting back to the line. It, it is intercepted. Trying to get that to Hudson. Maybe we slow down and not be so hasty. It's okay, Deshaun. It's okay. They're going to dunk on us this time, but not for long. Going for the big field goal attempt. Good accuracy. Decent power. Far short. Oh, man. Down 7-0. We got to stay alive out here. Pitt is a pesky bunch this season, and we knew that when we got the scouting report. Looking for some points. That'll at least kick us off in the right direction. Little play action. Gonna scramble out of danger. Find Myers on the run. He's got it. Setting ourselves up in the red zone. Pressure collapsing. Sacked. No fear. Eakin is here. Dime. All right. Now we'll take our field goal. 37 yards. Much more manageable. Thank you. Looks to be our lucky night. An attempt here for more points. Eakin down the sideline. First and goal. That's what happens when you get yourself a defense making plays. Getting you the ball right back in position to go ahead and turn this into a lead. Touchdown, Hasty. I was waiting to see if that edge would develop. Got around it and scored. 10-10 ball game. They're going to go with a slip screen. That was sniffed out by Curry. And hey, look at Curry, man. Stopping him in his tracks. Fourth and one. This is massive. Got to pick it up. And we will west. Third and 10. What about Hudson? Don't leave him open. Can confirm. Pitt is putting up one heck of a fight. But they're not going to account for Tillman and this touchdown reckham tech maybe trying to get a little too cute here going for it fourth and one it's a quick out he held on are you out of your mind our db made the exact read i expect him to and it cost us now we're down in a big way and i just threw that into the no-no zone fourth and 18 it looks like Pitt might be the team of destiny this year let's keep it alive if we can that was short-lived Pitt does knock us out and it looks like we're human after all back-to-back -back natties in just year two and three would have been unreal congrats to Pitt; they had a run and secured the national championship over georgia looks like i have no chance at bringing micah hudson back he's nfl bound first round talent same with ben roberts he graduated he's going to the first round so that right there satisfies one of our last challenges sending two red raiders to the nfl and by way of the first round pick ben roberts micah hudson big time player Steal of the draft, in my humble opinion, Koi Eakin. This dude balled out two years in a row at receiver, 20-something touchdowns one season, another 15 just this last year. Tons of top transfer talent. The prestige just keeps going up. I mean, check it out. Four and a half stars were practically maxed out. Since we've accomplished so much in a short period of time, we have done all the challenges we've set out to do and continue to build a pipeline of Red Raiders for the future. A couple more five-star quarterbacks come coming in like Mike Lofato, elite. I think it's time to close out this Texas Tech chapter, but not before we put them through one last season to see if they can be hanging around at the very end once more. The squad started out with a blistering 6-0 run before dropping one to K-State, Baylor, and TCU, who ultimately went on to the Big 12 championship game. We actually got held out of the championship game this year as Arizona State TCU had tiebreaker over us. TCU pulled off a good one, 32-31. I thought our rebuild was good. I want to know what Kool-Aid Pittsburgh is sipping. Another 13-0 flawless year through the ACC. They haven't lost in like 28, 29 
30 plus games, the winner of Ohio State Miami is going to have to find a way to put an end to it. For us, we get into the playoff bracket third year in a row, taking on Wisconsin. Major reason why Pitt was successful again, back-to-back -back Heismans from Eli Holstein. Hasty had a sophomore step back. As with the departure of our two best receivers last year, we spread it out to about five guys. Defense, a major reason why we still have another crack at a playoff run. On the road against Wisconsin, this should be a good test. A hostile environment, a tough defense. Our defense came to play. 13 zip at halftime. Okay, now, Red Raiders, let's wreck them up. Going into the fourth quarter, shutouts over. Wisconsin a little too late, I think, to open up the flood. It's over. We're walking away. Round one victory. Love to see it. I can't help myself. I love this matchup. The Raging Cajuns versus the Red Raiders in the Fiesta Bowl. That's must-see TV for me. Even in a quote-unquote down year for the Red Raiders, we're already in the Fiesta Bowl. Sir Sponge has done a heck of a job building this program, just making the tweaks needed in recruiting the right guys, creating pipelines, up in our prestige. Raging Cajuns are putting in a fight, and I respect that, but at the end of the day, you don't mess with the Wreckham Tech. Guns all the way up. It wasn't close on this primetime matchup. I'll come out and say it. I appreciate Hasty stepping up in the playoffs because he had an average regular season. The Ducks stand in our way trying to prevent the Red Raiders from making another national championship game. Puddles and the Ducks want to get in our way, but a quick touchdown opens up the scoring for the Red Raiders. 14-3, 21-3, first half shutting down the Ducks, you don't see Oregon get this stifled on offense. Unless you're playing against the Moscow Vandals out of Idaho, they kind of held Oregon to a low scoring affair, but it's OT. Next thing I knew, this sim was going to OT, so I figured no time like the present. Let's go help our squad win a ball game. Touchdown. One score down. Numero dos coming on up. If we can just find someone. Maybe we'll do it ourselves. First down, great leg pickup. That's what a guy like Hasty can do. Literally extends the play and kept the game alive right there. Beautiful, beautiful work. Now we can hit Myers on the next play. Keeping the chains a moving. Let's just take it out here. That was awful. Awful, awful, awful. Honestly, might have sold with that bad pass. Instead of fourth and three, it's fourth and nine. Why sail? Tight end, Stevenson, touchdown. Never mind. Got to get this two point conversion. And I think I have a guy. He got it. It's good. Stevenson again. This right here could be the end. Fourth down for the old Ducks. Gonna go for it, of course. Just gonna look. Survey, middle of the field. It was so open unbelievable they got their touchdown i want to see bullet shoot up the gap like a bullet and he stops him no good on the two-point conversion the orange bowl belongs to the red raiders a thrilling win in overtime against oregon it all comes down to this rematch against pitt who has not lost in like two and a half years they roll against ohio state they roll against tcu and now it's up to us we're the last chance honestly a perfect way to close out this epic video with an epic showdown hello old friend i missed you this could be a dynasty rebuild first for me outside of the longer series in a single video Usually a national championship signifies you have done it, climbed the mountain, rebuilt the program. Texas Tech did it so fast, we're about to get two in four years. That's right, Pitt, you ain't getting through us this time. Shot out of a cannon, they scored so fast. But that's why we play four quarters of football, folks, so we can break away from sacks like that. And then after we live to see another down, we'll go ahead, sprint out to the corner, throw one in into massive traffic. This Holstein dude has got to be one of the best quarterbacks in college football history winning two Heismans and a couple perfect seasons right now dotting it up crazy sell by the receiver dropping it giving us opportunistic position red zone sponge don't want no field goal he wants to make things even out here why sale usually a good look by the tight end it's very hard to guard when you got a shifty tight end that can move it second and goal let's go back up the middle dickie's got some juice to him skirts on in tie ball game seven seven now second quarter action uh-oh Scrambling back to the left. What an improvised play. Takes the block, and he's going down the sideline first and goal. Deshaun, 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 I got to hand it to you. I thought that play was dead in the water, but you made something happen. Is this Disney World or the National Championship? Because we're making magical moments happen out here all game long. It's really fourth and goal, and it's really time to go for it. 
Dicky dump out in. Gonna test the DB with a one on one ball. Our guy versus his. All right, this is probably not just risky. Flat out dumb play call. Going for it on fourth and 10. It does work. Hasty calls up the security blanket. And man, that's always a good choice when in doubt. Hard work can pay off if we go ahead and keep moving chains and scoring before half. This defense is tough. I'll give them that. They're giving me a fit. Let's go ahead and hit the flood. Wow, 23 got back in coverage, read that the right time. Glenn over here is just having one heck of a day. Let it continue, big man. Inspiring performance from the tight end. I just can't get enough of it. Look at him play. Definitely deserves player of the game at the biggest stage right here. Look at this connection, it's blossoming. They've connected for over 150 yards and he's just been a sure-handed target, except wow, what a steal by the safety. I thought our guy was bigger and would snag that. On fourth and three, we can make up for it here with a defensive stop. If not the first time, maybe we'll have better luck here on the second try. Underneath, he's gonna pick it up. When they're successful converting two times in the same drive, you can practically count on them getting points when it was all said and done, and what a delivery while getting smacked. Hasty is tasked with bringing this team down the field with one minute to go and score for the win. Already in field goal range, it's simply not enough just to tie up this game. We gotta go for the win, folks. Go for the win. Practically no one in the secondary in this formation. So if this read option just springs loose, yeah, he's he's out of there. What did I say? Touchdown, Texas Tech. Wreck them and guns up for the win. All we do is win and we're 15 seconds away from our second natty in four years. Here we go. They do have their timeouts and a Heisman quarterback. So that's something. What's definitely helping us in our favor is the fact that a field goal does them no good. Sending everyone back. Curry playing center field. This is the final play of the game. That is not gonna cut it. A Heisman like play. Yeah, friggin' right. This is a victory over Pitt. Handing them their first loss, pick six from Gentry. Love to see our star recruits come together. Tear down this stadium, Lubbock, Texas, in a frenzy as a pick six with clock expiring gives us another win. Let the celebration begin, folks. We are two-time national champions in the last four years. Impressive reign and run by Pitt comes to an end. With all of that, Sir Sponge and myself, King Sponge, hope you soaked it up enjoy the old texas tech rebuild let me know your feedback your comments down below on this style of video coupling an irl community driven rebuild with obviously the rebuild always open to suggestions for improvements fresh ideas or questions to ask the community and how we can make it better for the next one so it's been your boy signing out and i'll see y'all in the next